Okay, so first, I think, so the, so the, the, the video, of course, is everybody talk about it now. Um, it's a few things, it's a few points that, a few data points that we have in this that make this an issue. The first part about it, the first data point is this, uh, what people do in their own privacy of their own homes. That's the first one. Mm -hmm. the, second, actually, the second data point is, why are people recording themselves doing stuff that they don't and obviously want out? The third part about it is, why are people, when they get mad, send this information that you obviously know is private and you, they intended to be private to people that's going to bring it to a public platform? The fourth part about that is, why are we so invested in this? Because we all, everybody's talking about it. It's something, somebody, I couldn't ignore it. I've been doing about it since Sunday. But I've just been kind of like, whatever, but when it comes to a program, everybody's talking about it. Shit, you got to talk about it because people want to know what's going on. The next part about that is, when I finally hit my desk and I go look at it, on Facebook, it had a thousand and some shares. A thousand and some shares. I Meaning, there was reposted at least 1,000 times on Facebook. But nobody said nothing about suing nobody or paying for nobody until Shaky reposted it. And now it's a problem. Like it's a problem. Oh, Shaky, we, we, we want everybody, we want all thousand of y'all to post it, go ahead and have fun. But Shaky do it, though, we don't want you to do it because of whatever reason. So that's the, that's the, that's the, the main data press we have. Uh, so I said the best I can do is offer you a chance to clear your name. Here's a chance to clear your name. You can come into an interview if you want. The next thing I know, she on people live, she on a makeup artist live. A makeup artist that can't do makeup saying, explaining her story and probably digging herself deep in the hole. Uh, as far as any truths behind her being threatened. I'm going to learn again. You can even say shake it, Andrew. My sister won't want you to add on. <laughs> I guess she won't join the live with us. Come but on, I... I, I to, 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 she said you had to send a request, babe. Oh, she said that I'm a fan now. That's my baby sister, y'all. I got to find out if you're a fan. Yeah, she got to get a problem. You know I don't mind, so finish that. What's going on, sis? Hey, thank you. How you doing? What's the thing? Okay. I so, think that the girl was manipulated because everybody in the situation is very much at least 10 years older than her. I feel like she's young and she gets upset and just do things off the of impulse and these grown adults took advantage of her and her weakened state. That's how I feel. I feel like the lady who exposed the videos and got the videos from her, who is very much if you go on her face, about 10 years older than her. The man is over 10 years older than her and he manipulated her to have sex with another man and the woman manipulated her to send the videos to her and expose it when it was for her benefit. I don't think, I think the girl is really a victim. You know, the way she went went about everything made it seem like she probably had something to do with it, but I really think she's a victim in the whole situation. I do. In my opinion, this way, now that I'm up to date on everything, this is what I really feel. What, I, what scares me is that a 23-year-old young lady was willing to sleep with a man to keep a man. That's scary. Honest. And the, the, the two be able to stay with somebody is it's honestly scary. And I do believe what my sister is saying is true. But you knew that she was willing, she wanted you. You knew that she would do anything to be with you. That's why you put the offer out there because she was willing to do that. It was a big I think point. that's why he even proposed to her. I don't think that he truly wants to marry her. I think sometimes when you get to a point when you start to catch when you understand as women when we start to get the strength to leave a man, a man or do something dramatic to make us stay there. So he hurry up, you're 23 years old, you were probably was ready to get out of here, bullshit ready to go. So he hurry up and proposed to you. And then when that wasn't working for to get you to do what he wanted, he was like, oh, I ain't gonna marry you unless you do. You see what I'm saying? So now she didn't get it or whatever, and she regretted it, and she's living with that, and you're still picking with her on top of that. Now this other woman who have a vendetta against you and tried to befriend her, because that's what she said, she came to befriend her. This lady look like she's about 30-something years old. You're 23 years old. What is she trying to be your friend for? So she didn't came to befriend you. Then she saw you crying on live, talking about him, hit you up that same day and was like, oh, I know what you going through, da 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 and then was like, oh, send me the video. Let me see that's crazy. I, I I don't know. It's just to me it ain't what the new, you know, to me it's it's something that goes on often. To me it's just a topic that we are talking about that is honestly familiar with a lot of people. Yes, she is wrong, so I'm not making excuses about I'm gonna tell you this, this is just my opinion. People 
go to befriend you when y'all have a common enemy. And a lot of people do that. And a lot of people fall for that. And that's and that's something that a lot of people need to do. When you are sick, you make it for everybody don't the same person you like. And now they want to all of a sudden befriend you and make you They keep they keep trying to say in a kind I'm sorry, but to cut you off, y'all keep trying to say that the girl is grown. She been fucking with the man since she was fourteen years old. So her fourteen year old child mind fell in love with that man, not a twenty three year old grown woman. Y'all gotta understand he manipulated been manipulating her for nine years. So they probably can't hear you. Yes, up, baby. I don't blame her at all. I don't this what I this what I feel. This what I feel. I feel like any situation I see that go public is a learning situation. And what I feel like is there nothing but a pure example of a lot that's that we don't know. People get with people because they have a common enemy and they use it for their own benefit. People sit up there and you got men that prey on young girls, prey on them, and and they fall for it. This Men sleeping with men, all that is not nothing new. It's also honestly not nobody's business. It only became somebody's business because it's popular. It's no different than anybody. If, if you got something going on that she's, my sister's still talking. <laughs> if you got something going on, she might have a I can't, it's not letting me request you. You got to hit the request for me. Hit the request box. It's not letting me send you a request. You got to hit the request box. Sister. You might have to come out and come back in. I feel like his sexuality or his life or whatever he feels and he wants to do in his private life is not up to nobody else. I don't feel like, I don't understand why people are so hard on him about his private life. That, that's me, personally. Right. How Sorry, y'all. How y'all doing? What's your name? How you doing? Let me tell y'all. My brother know what the fuck he was doing. I'm not here to uphold him on no motherfucking shit. He know what the fuck he was doing. He has a camera in his hand. For this to say, that she didn't know nothing about it. They've been doing the shit. They've been fucking doing the shit. Don't sit up here and come on everybody live because you want motherfucking clout saying, oh, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. Y'all been doing it. Y'all been doing it. My thing is, I'm here because people fucking with my mama. My mama's sick. Oh, wow. My mama's sick. Y'all sitting, I don't give a fuck. Y'all can come at me all kind of ways, me and my little sister. I don't give a fuck. But when you play with my mama and his fucking children, that's on a different level. I'm here trying to cut you off. I'm gonna exit and let you talk to the sister because that's on a whole other level. And I, honestly, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for everybody that's involved. So I'm gonna I'm gonna exit and you talk to them. Check it. I don't know how how the heck I get off it. I'm gonna stay on this sis. Listen, this has gone to a whole different other level. It's gone to a whole nother. I'm way in fucking Texas. It's gone to a whole nother fucking level. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men in New Orleans, in the world, doing this shit and scared to come out and live in their own fucking truth for this apparent reason right here because of the backlash and shit that they're gonna get. It is what the fuck it is. It was it was them being fucking wrong and doing the shit in the privacy of their fucking bedroom and they got the fuck out. Okay, it is what the fuck it is. Move the fuck on because y'all fucking with my family. Move the fuck on. Like y'all not understanding what the fuck is doing to the family. It's fucking with us. That's it. That's all we asking. What are they doing in, in reference to your, your mother and his children? Like, are they getting threatened? Like, oh, oh, no. See, we, look, we ain't doing that one. 
it's just like they're sending a request. You know how they, they want to see. They're sending a request and sending inboxes and all that. We're not going to do that. Leave my mama out of it. Y'all can send me my brother gay. Y'all can send me all that, all the fuck y'all want. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a fucking secret. Everybody got skeletons in their closet. Y'all need to live in your own fucking truth. But sis on here acting like she's so innocent, that bitch ain't innocent. She a dirty fucking flunky that he been fucking with. Yeah, he fucked over his family for her. It is what the fuck it is. I'm standing behind my fucking brother. As you should. And, you and, know what I'm saying? And I, and I don't think people should ever... When people... This is social media. I'm going to just be real with you. So people going to say and have an opinion. But I don't Period. think it's ever involved the family. And I agree with you and I stand with you on that. So anybody that's fucking with this man... Mama or uh, children have nothing to do with this. Yes. Fuck y'all. Y'all yes. dirty, y'all trifling, and I don't stand with that at all. Look, I'm shit, they, they could come at me all they want. I'm, I'm here. I'm standing for the family. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's fuck with me. But my mama, don't do it. Don't oh, do, do it. Do you think the girl who, the girl in the video that you talked about, uh, Miss, what's that? I forgot her name. She, do you think she did this purposely, or do you think this was maliciously done, or how do you think? Because it come out, it get the Facebook, and it's, it's, it's spreading all over. How do you think this actually got, especially since you said they been doing what I was doing? Okay, so we gonna talk tea, we gonna talk tea. So the shit started, they started beefing because she carried my little niece on her taxes. She took the money and didn't give him the money. So he wanted his fucking money. Every time they get money, they break up with each other. Wretched shit, wretched shit. She a wretched little girl. She a fucking little girl. Yeah, he been fucking with her since she was a little girl. He should have been that far long. Okay. Shit happens. What the fuck ever. So all this is over because she carried my little niece and she didn't give him the fucking money or whatever. So he was like, bitch, I want my money, period. Like, I want my money for my child. So she, that's when she started posting the videos and I'm going to add out and all this and all that because my brother could be a bitch sometimes. I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm not here to fucking sit up here and sugarcoat shit. You know what I'm saying? So he could be stupid sometimes and playing with a girl and threatening girl and shit like that. Okay. Like, he got his money. That's it, period. So she didn't give him the money or whatever. That's how the shit started. So she put the video up. I don't know if she, I don't know if she fucking sent the video out. She said she didn't do it because I had three of them hoes on the phone trying to figure the fuck out. Which one of you hoes did it because, bitch, it's up there. So she said she didn't do it. It's a possibility she could have did it. I mean, everybody going to blame her because she got a live saying she did it. We don't it. know. We ain't gonna know where it come from, cause ain't none of them hoes gonna own up to their truth. We ain't gonna know where they where it come from. But for her to sit up here and say that she ain't know nothing about it, she ain't know he was like that or whatever, bitch, stop lying. So the the part about him attempting suicide, that's not accurate. That's just something. Baby, just throw that out there as a lie. No. No. Yeah. How how is they, that going? Look, let them think what they want to think. How is he doing he's as far as psychologically, is, you know, because as somebody who is gay and who came out of the closet at some point in time, I know that sometimes, and I'm not saying he's gay or bisexual, he's, he said he's a scratch. Shake it, call it what it is. Call it what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Call it what the fuck it is. It is what it is. So, is he, his psychological, his psycho, the psychological aspect of this, because it's all over. A lot of people he, talk about this. It's not there. He's just like, it's not there. It's not good at all. But he, he did not try to kill himself, but his mental is fucked up. His mental is fucked up. And that's what we mainly worried about. Okay, so this is my thing for, for, for his sin. And I'm going to sit right there. Personally, I believe this. This New Orleans, nobody going to give a fuck next week. You know that. We're from New Orleans. Y'all know how it is. Everybody going to talk about it for a week. We're going to talk about it for a week. And next week, not a person. New Orleans is a city. One thing about it, they love punks. I punk dykes, whatever it is you want to be. You could be an astronaut in New Orleans. It's gonna be all right. Cause the whole baby is punks, and they don't understand it. And then, and then it be knowing. I don't roll in the car with my nigga and his hoe. And like See? it was a, like. So it was, why you saying you didn't know? Why you saying you didn't know? This be, if you gonna tell the truth, tell the fucking truth. You fucking knew y'all been doing this shit. It ain't the fucking first. It ain't. Well, it's the last. But it ain't. It, it, it wasn't the fucking first. Second or third. So if you gonna been, tell it, tell it. Go ahead, I'm listening. I believe that you that, that everything will blow over in a week or two and we're gonna be talking about something else. Super saying, man, we're gonna find out something about him and that's gonna be the next time. But I think that I think though that it do him good if y'all sit him down and maybe bring him to somebody who can talk to a therapist or, or maybe right. even a um spiritual advisor that can talk to him about that part about it because this is like it's like it's like it's so many it's, it's like it's gonna be up there. And mm -hmm. somebody somebody gonna see it at some point in time. 
And also, when it comes to the children, too, as far as just having those tough discussions, don't pretend like it don't happen. Address it head on. That's my thing. Yeah. I think yeah. all, that, that will be positive for the family moving forward. I don't think it's going to change his life much. There'll be two or three niggas stop fucking with him. But them, that's the same niggas that stop fucking with him. It's the same niggas that's going around fucking home with themselves. Or didn't mm-hmm. fuck or anything else with them. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I think that his life is, I, I think people are going to get over it because it, they, it's something to talk about right now because they really got to we pandemic and shit, we ain't got nothing to do. And this mm-hmm. is what I do right. not think that his lifestyle is a, is a, a big issue, especially in, in New Orleans because we don't care. Nobody cares. Everybody got pro friends. Everybody got everybody. Nobody, mm-hmm. nobody cares. Mm-hmm. Not telling him to go out. He, he got to go out and start going to the, the vibe. Right. Like, except this happens, fuck it. I got to live with this. But this is how I can live with it. And, and I, I, for the first of all, because that's my point. Mm-hmm. If she did do this maliciously, if the sister did do this maliciously, um, and let it out there. I mean, he does have a case about revenge on because that's where the people thought about him. Um, you can't do this to protect my purpose. That's called revenge porn, and that's, mm-hmm. a, that's criminal. They talk about suing me, but I don't care, but you, you got the revenge porn aspect that's happening right now. If you right. sit this out on this man for the exclusive reason of that you were mad at him for whatever reason, then mm-hmm. that is revenge porn. And that's no, no, no doubt about it. And yeah. maybe should, it, 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 I think you should reserve those rights and options as well. Um, I do want to say that I appreciate you for coming and explaining and having a side that's outside of theirs. I don't know if she's done it. Now, I'm not blaming her either. Because mm-hmm. I don't know how. Because there's still questions of how I got there. It was said that she sent it to the ex and one of the girls, he's one of the women, trying to stop messing with women. It's like four things that were said. There was high, why, it, how, that's what, what, that's no lie. But for her to say that she didn't know that was it, and she knew because the exes, when 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 him and the exes beat, they all gang up. They all the hoes gang up together on him. That's what them hoes do. They all gang up. But she knew that was it. She knew that. Oh, so Lee, so you ain't know. Hold up. Let me hold up. Let me ask. Let me. Let me I'm not I'm what you say? I'm move out the camera since I ain't talking to you. So Lee, you didn't know that. You speak to them, you say, you said I didn't know. But when I went live, I clearly told these people I noticed. They I knew this already. They watched the same I, video you, you watched. You Texas, 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 we not talking for her. It's me and you. You, you we're not talking for her. Chill, chill, chill. Listen, when I went, dang. Why for the camera point? I know. I know. Listen, when I went on my live and I said what I said, I said I already knew how it was. That's exactly why I recorded that video. Because when he told me about this and he came to me with it, because we did three songs with bitches. Let's make that clear. It was always a bitch. It was never a nigga. This was only one time. One time. That's it. Me and Tootie stopped talking after this. Me and Tootie stopped talking after this video. So it's not like... That I video was posted eight months ago. What you mean? It was posted... This- Oh, it, was eight months. Eight months. it was not posted eight months ago. It was not posted eight months ago. The video was posted eight months ago on Pornhub. Oh, that's, 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 so you're saying that Listen, so you're saying, it's not she like, saying like I did not know. She said as if I did not know this. I knew this. She he told me. It. I admitted to that because he told me this shit out of his mouth. He went to my mama house prior to this video coming out and sitting down with my mama, telling my mama how he sucked dead. Three months. Three months before that. Three. So what you're not gonna do, you're not gonna get on here and talk about how Oh, I, I said this, I said that, because one thing for sure, one, two things for certain, everybody know I love this nigga with my heart. I would have did anything for this nigga. I would have went to war with anybody behind this nigga. And she know that shit, bro. She know that. I would have went to war with anybody for this nigga. If I wanted to put this video out, son, the whole 10 minutes would be out. And trust the plus that. Video. Trust plus that. Y'all only got a little snippet of this video. One minute. Were you angry over the text thing? The sister mentioned there was a text issue when it came to uh, carrying a child in the taxes. Was that okay? Let me let's, let's 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 bring this up. Okay, he did let me ch- carry his child on taxes. This is how this all started. He let me carry his daughter on taxes. Now, when I got my tax money, 
the exact amount that gave me for her was nine fifty. That was the exact amount. I gave him a whole rack for her. I once I gave him that rack, I said, "You gonna spend it on your child? The five racks that I got left, I'm gonna spend it. This for me and you. We gonna make it do what it do with the five racks I got left." But after we started beefing, and I didn't even know about no impact, no impact statement or whatever that they, the three hundred dollars per child. I didn't know about that until I seen the news. Same. I was already me and him was already gone when I when that shit hit my bank account. Since the beginning, I told him, say, this money, that's for your child. I'm never going to spend your child money, but what you're not going to do, you're not going to keep coming at me, telling people that I stole her fucking Social Security. He was telling people, saying, you gave me you gave me her Social Security number. You gave me that. You told me because you did not want your mother to file her or her taxes no more because you said she wasn't giving you her money. Let's, let's speak this shit, because if we're going to speak this shit, we're going to speak this shit. My sister, you were talking to don't even much know the full story. Say, when you call me, when she called me about the situation, you are, I'm, I'm not about to single code nothing. I'm about to send you all the screenshots. You knew. I told you I was the one who sent it to a girl. So it's not like it's a big secret that I sent it to girl. I say I confided in her. I did not know it was his ex-girlfriend until after I sent her this video. Please understand me when I tell you I did not know this was his ex-girlfriend until after I sent her this video. Okay? So you sent the ex-girlfriend the video. The video. In order for what? What was your option? What was say, your, what was the, let me tell you something. Because when that video of me going off, started servicing, that that was me. That was me going off on him, cause he had been, went on Facebook and told my mother to be prepared to wear a black dress, cause he was gonna bury me behind money that wasn't for him, cause I gave him his money. That was three months. Prior. That was three months prior to this shit. She called me after she seen the video, and she was like, "Say, I already know what you going through with Tootie, cause I went with the same shit." She sent me screenshots of the shit she tried to expose him on, but it was just, it was just messages. So it really, it really wasn't what I had. You feel what I'm saying? So when I sent her this video, I'm sending you this video because I'm like, okay, I'm going to confide in somebody who went through the same shit with him. Okay. So you thought she was being a friend to you. And Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And being therapeutic because you went through something similar, like more terms. Similar with me. So I'm thinking, okay, well, bitch, you know what's going you know on. What's you know what's up. Right? So you, it ain't no secret to you. So why do you think she posted? Because she made this go. She made this go by. Say, let's say let you how to know for a fact she posted this video, okay? Because when I come, I'm coming with receipts. So, I'm not just saying. Show your phone. She about to show. I'm her. Coming, I'm going through my phone. So boom, the video I sent her was exactly one minute and eleven seconds. Okay. That's the video that's going viral. Listen, listen. I'm about to show you the video I sent her. Cause this is right after we got off the phone. You feel me? And she was like, I already know what she was going through with this nigga because I went through the same thing with This is, hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. Here you go, right here. This is the beginning of the video. Mind you, this is the video that's well, going out. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. This is the video that's going out. One minute and 11 seconds. Please zoom in this shit. Go click my profile. Look at this. Wait. That's correct. That's accurate. This her name. Well, wait, hold on. Because so many people, this is her name. Right, we have my name. So, you now, so you don't think I'm lying? This is all the shit she tried to send me so talking about okay. yeah, talk, exposing him. This is it right here. All the shit she screenshotted me and sent me, this is what she sent me talking about she exposing him. With this that, right here. She never had wait, no She video. never had video or nothing. So this is what she sent me. You feel what I'm saying? And after that, I sent you the video. So I'm like, so you, you know what I'm going through. So I'm going to send you this shit. My sister tagged this girl in this post that she put on Facebook and the girl blocked her after my sister told her she knew it was her who sent it. She, she blocked, blocked her. her. She blocked and my And I Facebook. had to pull this lady up on my page to go tell my sister she did not delete her Facebook. She blocked you. And then she out. didn't comment on the post to nothing. She just blocked you. She, she just, just blocked you straight out. All right. So knowing, knowing, my sister, misery don't love company. And, and knowing this, in retrospect, would you have trusted this woman again? <laughs> like you have Fuck to see no. It. Fuck no. I would have never sent that video because say, let me tell y'all one thing, the love I had for this nigga was real. That shit was real. I would have never wanted to destroy this nigga like the way this shit doing him. Say, they're talking about that shit getting to his mama. Say my mama got that shit. My daddy got that shit. My fucking passed up a grandfather got that shit. Nigga, this shit is way deeper than who ever saying it. And and don't come on here trying to trying to 
trying to run your mouth about me when you was just in my text messages telling people how you know for the fact I did not see this one. fucking video. She, so don't get on internet trying to play with me. Look, she getting a little worked up right saying? now. But what my sister trying to say is this same girl that just hopped off your lap. She the same girl that came in my sister's inbox, and we got the receipts. It's all receipts, receipts behind it. She came in my sister's inbox. The same, the very girl that you just hopped off this live with, when I kept telling sure. you, Eddie. This what? same girl came in my sister's inbox and said, now you, she just said on your live, because I just watched it. She said on your live that she felt like my sister could have done that, right? Mm -hmm. So she got messages to my sister right now, telling my sister she know how my sister felt about this nigga, and she knows she would never send it out. She knows she would have never sent that out. So why you hop on this internet and start saying that she all roachy type of bitches? It's not like that. Because when she texted her, they really talking like grown adults. That's why we don't need to do this on social media. That's why her big sister here. That's why I'm here for my little sister. Because you talking to the sisters, I know the story too. I, I made my sister send me every last screenshot. Because you're not going to tell me half of no fucking story. Say, I sent it to her too. The one that you got off your live, this is her. I sent that shit to So listen, do you, y'all was, I, I think y'all, my fault. Hello? Y'all muted y'all. Uh, uh, did y'all do it? Can y'all hear them? I can't hear that. But I have a question. People were saying, you can't hear me? It's my fault. Hello? Hello? Nobody can hear me? Y'all can hear me? Oh, they said they can't hear you. I want to ask them, you might have to go out and come back in. Go out and come back in. Go out and come back in. Because my question is, so, oh, girl. Whew. It's too much. I want to know about the threats. And that's my question. That's my next question. What is that should go on her page? Actually, she's on her page. Never mind. I think she's on her page. I'm trying to add us on her page. It was my fault. I don't know. Okay. My question is, baby, are people threatening you? They, 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 got, they, they got people calling my daddy talking about they're going to pull gasoline on my body and burn me up. We had to relocate. We, we had to relocate. We had to get the fuck because so many people who I don't even know threatening my life. Behind this bullshit. They telling my mom, put, get, get yourself together, all type of stuff. So prepare herself for a funeral. Yeah, they told my mom, I'm gonna prepare herself for a funeral because, oh, they gonna smoke me. Oh, did y'all call the authorities as far as like the re other That's what my mom is doing right now. That is what, that's literally what my mom is doing. But she can't do it without her being there in that area. And we can't, I can't, can't just come back and be in that area right now. This is how you do that. Call the police. When the police are there, that's when you go back. When the police are there, it's, it's how you do that. You don't do it. When you call the police, they go take when they, you have your mom or whatever. And when the police do come, that's when you arrive. When the, only when the police are there, then you make your report and make your statement. And just do that. Number one, to clear yourself in case you do have to defend yourself in any way. That's number one. You have your police report to do that. And the second part about that is. Because of the fact nine times out of ten, when something like this happens and the police are involved, people people ain't that stupid, stupid that they just go do something like that. But I, I'm, I'm sorry that you're going through that aspect of it, and I, I, I can understand why some people are upset. But who do you think the threats are coming from? And that's what's crazy. I don't even want to know. Family just told me that it's not his okay, family. Okay, yeah. Does the family just told me that it wasn't his people? They got beef with me. What if people that who don't even know me now won't be for me? You won't. You won't back. For eight months, I just wanted to say that. Listen, they know they're talking about the video of just me and Tootie. Oh, it was yeah. just, it was just me and him. I don't even know how that video got out there. I don't know how the fuck that video got because I don't even have that video. I don't even have that. The only video I do have is the the, the original video of the one minute and eleven seconds, but it's way longer than that. Was it his idea to record y'all? He was. He was holding the camera. He was holding the camera. What was it? And, and so, if he recorded it, it was recorded on your phone. Obviously. It was recorded on my phone, but he was holding the camera. Okay. That's why I was so good. Did he ever ask you to not put it out, or was there any discussion about what would happen to that video? Were y'all in the right state? Oh, what happened to that video? 
Yikes. Catch it on my YouTube. bad, that was me, that was me, my bad. <laughs> what? So, and the other guy in the video, did he, was he considered to be in Ricardo? Listen to me, oh. when I, and that's another thing. This, I had, I didn't even know this nigga. He knew him. He brought him to me. He set it up. He set that shit up. The, say, every time we had a threesome with a woman, I brought them. I'm not gonna even cap, I brought the women. But every time we had a threesome with a woman, we fought after that shit, cause this nigga was telling me how I was doing too much to them hoes, or I did this, or I did that wrong. So we we really was going hard behind each other with this shit. But when I when when you brought this man to me, and I was and I was and uh, willingly uh, a participant in this shit, cause let's let's get it straight, I was definitely a willing participant in this. But I did not. Bring this man. I do not even know this nigga. So, hey, okay. So, has anybody checked on him as far as, like, was, because uh, we were told that Tootie was trying to go to the hospital and stuff like that, but then we confirmed that's not true. Have you spoke to him since this is, uh, Didn't even start. 
They ain't even started they yet. Start. So, so how could they be beefing behind child tax credit if that didn't start to July 15th? This video been out. Come on, think about it. Can't, they can't beef on something that ain't that ain't start up yet. Are you afraid of a revenge point charge being charged? Are you afraid of that? No, honestly, bro, I go, I go sit behind this shit before I let anybody play with my life because guess what? I know for a fact they come at me behind this shit. I got receipts behind everything because I'm not talking just to hear myself talk. Because most of the people on this internet, they just want to talk just to hear themselves talk. When I talk, I'm speaking facts. And I'm coming the with the facts. I'm coming with the receipts because this, it, it ain't got way, way out of hand. Way out of hand. This man say this man want to hurt himself because people on the fucking internet wants to act as though they so fucking perfect. You, 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 your baby daddy out here sucking dick anyway and come and kiss you, but you don't know it. But just because just cause it happened to him, everybody want to, everybody want to hop on this band. No, I'm going to always say, I take my L for sending that video out. Say, that's, and guess what? If I didn't send it out, you right, that shit would not have got out. But in the mind frame that I was in, say, I was mad. You kept coming for me, guy. You kept, you put a snicker in my motherfucking tank, bro. And I still haven't put that video out. I still well, didn't put that video out. Well, but his, his sister admitted that he wasn't, he, she didn't feel that he was 100% innocent in the matter. Are you, or then, on that note, if you sent it to Corvano, Corvano, I'm sorry, if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, I apologize. I don't even know how to pronounce her name. I don't know, it's, it's, it's very hard but for me. But if, if you sent it to her, are you considering filing anything on her? Is that something? Yes! Else? She already know I'm coming for everything from you, sis. Everything. I want everything. She already tried to explain it to uh, she was She was trying to explain it to my pa, and she kept calling my, my pa, sir, and was like, yeah. sir, I did not do that. And I told her that was not for me and her. Bitch, I don't want to hear none of that. You did it. I don't want to hear none of that because when I tagged you in that post and I told you you did it, you, you blocked. blocked me. Okay. You blocked me. The post still up. And the post still up. The post still up. And it's still up there. On Facebook. It's, it's still, still up. up there. It's still up there. My sister can't pull her up, but I can. That's she like, that's crazy. Page. She blocked me, but my sister can go on her page. My sister can see that shit. And, and it's crazy how it's these bitches out here for me. It's the bitches for me. Did you know or authorize that any person time for it to go on per on Pornhub? No. Fuck no. They were telling her it was on Pornhub by the time she woke up the next morning. Yeah, she was on Pornhub. We found out she was on Pornhub through our mom. Mom, my, my, our mother, we found out through our mother that she was on Pornhub. My mama called and told us she was on Pornhub. Oh, that's, now, nah, if y'all... somebody got it to her. Now, if you didn't put it on Pornhub and you, it's kind of hard consenting it because it looks as if you consented to the camera on some point because you I knew mean, it. I mean, the camera. I mean, it was full of consent, though. Let's like, be honest. This was my nigga. So everything we could, what we did, I consented to that shit. I don't give a fuck what nobody saying right now because in that moment when I consented to that shit, I need evidence for me. You're not about to just tell me you out here doing this and you.
y'all want us to feel bad. I'm sorry, I'm about to put her back on live, but my thing is, people want us to feel bad because his mama got this video, but they not understand it. It's my mama got this video as well. His, his grandma and people got this video, guess what? Our grandparents got this shit as well. Like, it's, it's, it's no way to, it's, what's happening to him, it's yeah, unfortunate it's that he's trying to take his life. It really is. It really is. That's, but it's the same one trying to take his the sister said he wasn't trying to take his life, let's cut it out. But he was a little distant. Okay, well, they see, but the thing is, when it's take his life stuff from, they suck that to my sister. They said he tried to kill yeah, himself. To I mean, they had to tell her he had to use the white towel and everything. This is people really making up a bunch of shit. They said he had to tie the sheets. I'm talking about they gave her a full storm. They said he tied his sheets to his back door and he had a chill standing by the back door and they had to hurry they had to hurry up and try to wrestle this man down to get him off the fucking sheet. This is what people telling me. And that's unfortunate because he tried to kill himself. I'm sorry that my sister, she got people that's not gonna allow her to do that or that's around her that won't allow her to put herself in harm's way. I'm sorry that his people not close enough to him to stop him from doing that. But let's 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 Stop, let's just clear the whole elephant in the room. I just want to say this one thing before I let my sister get back on this live. This video would have not been out if Tootie was not the way that he was. You got to live in your truth. When you live in your truth, it's not nothing a motherfucker could tell you. I mean, it's not for her to... It wasn't her that exposed it, but I mean, shit, we here now. They say she exposed it, she didn't. This is what I want you to do. Before you go somewhere, this is what I want you to do. Before you give up any phone, ask her sister, this is what I want you to do. Okay, and listen to me carefully. I, I was I went through something in life to where I couldn't handle it mentally, and there's nothing wrong. And I went and I went and get some psychological help to help me at least put ground in the foot to my life. This is a big thing. This is a monumental thing. This is a, an almost a life changing thing that's happening to your sister right now. I strongly believe in New Orleans. We'll talk about it for a week, and we'll think about something else next week. But in in hindsight, and where right now, I want you to bring her to talk to somebody, a therapist, a psychologist, a spiritual advisor, or somebody. Because this is a lot of stuff that's to deal with at her age. And, and not saying she can't handle it, but the strongest of us sometimes have issues when it deals with this type of stuff. One day, nobody knew your name tomorrow, and the whole city talk about you. It, it, it changed your life. And so in, in the case of something like this, I want her, I want him too to go and talk to some professional people. See, social media ain't gonna solve your problems. Right. We could talk about it and try to bring some light into what's going on. However, in the case of her, in this issue, I strongly, strongly believe that as a sister, you drag her by the hair if you have to, and bring her to talk to somebody professional or a spiritual advisor that can better outline and put it all out there because her feelings, her emotions is going a lot of different ways right now. There really is. There really is. She cried one minute, then she upset the next minute. She don't even know what to do. And I don't know what to do to come for her in this because I have never been through this. I, I don't know. All I know is that her sister, I'm going to be here for her because I can't let the world attack her. She don't have those type of parents that's going to judge her. They're going to be there for her and we can't help that. You know what I'm saying? I can't. She, she have those type of parents. So she do need to get help. I'm, I'm pretty sure she really do. At this point, I'm just like I said, we didn't come on here to, well, I didn't come over here to bash him, like, at all. I'm not here to bash this man, his character. Is but at the end of the day, she got to she gotta do what she got to do, too. She got to protect herself, too. Because it's people, the problem is, it's people that's threatening her, and maybe it's not the family. But it's people that's threatening her to where they know what my sister's face looks like. We don't know what none of these people look like. This girl could literally walk up the street and something happened to her. And that's literally because, you know, they know how my sister look. Hey, I just wanted to jump on real quick because I did inbox you and you may not see it until later. Because I know a lot of people is writing you. Because truth be told, my concern more so is you. And this is from one woman to another. Because you can't make nobody be accountable for nothing but yourself. I promise, no problem. Nah, that all, she got to release it. She ain't got to harbor that hook. That girl been hurt because she was a child when she was being touched by this man. And your hit you love. She was willing to sleep with another man she doesn't know unprotected to keep a man. That's good. I'm here. We listening. We listen. She listening. The biggest, the biggest part of her issue is damage that's been done since she was 14. 
that floor clean floor and her name. Clearing her name, you ain't gonna never clear your name because you people got opinions. But she need love because she did the love that she need go deeper in this situation. What she's willing to do for him is deep. Oh. You don't know this man from a can of paint, and she was willing to put her mouth on him unprotected to keep another man. You get what I'm saying? That's hurt. That's personal hurt. Oh. Because she didn't expose herself to AIDS. She forget social media being yeah. real. AIDS is real. Yeah. Being real is real. Syphilis is real. That's some hurt. She got some hurt that need to be dug up, and it gotta come from the root, bro. It can't come from the leaves and the branches. We gotta pull it up from the root. There is some some brokenness, and that's her big sister. The best advice I could give you, cause my little sister is on here. It's like he said, you gotta pull her by the hair. You gotta pull her by the because her mental health is not gonna be all right after social media is over. After this blows over, and somebody else be talked about what she was being touched at fourteen years old is still a problem. And she said she loved this man and she would do anything for this man. That's scary. That is scary. She said, she said but, what do you think? Right now, she said what do you think? After all this, she said, right now. She said she'll do this right now. Today. Right. Right now. Right. Today. Right. 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 Today, we sometimes, and I told my sister this, sometimes you go out there and you don't think about how it's going to affect the people you love. And so now you want the world to care about how it affected your family. But when you was willing to do anything for this man, was you thinking about how it affected your family? Because there's multiple videos. Think about what I'm saying, sweetheart. There's multiple videos. There's a six-minute video of the same incident that I think was being taken by the other guy in the bed that was released. Oh, oh wow. Wow. we didn't know that. We I didn't know that. It's his side of the story, basically. Right, right. so there's three people involved. So while you were setting up wow. your camera, he had his camera in his hand. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Well, what I'm saying to you is the only person you can be accountable for is you. That's it. That's it. And out of truth, it's not making me mad. But but this is what I'm saying is we can't say, oh, she young. Let me tell you something. AIDS don't care about how old you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it has to go to self-accountability because at the end of the day, you can't make him. You can't make his family. You can't make nobody else be accountable. She got to look herself in the mirror and be disappointed in herself enough to say, I got to change this. Because the only person she can affect is her. And you just coming from somebody who's been there. I ain't been where she been. But I didn't. I have my fair share of dirt that I've done. You know what I'm saying? And it, let me tell you something. You would hate for you to go on the job or try to change your life. And you can't get a job for stuff like this. Because that happens. That really happens. I'm telling you what I know. You'll, you'll look up and somebody won't hire you. There's girls who've been... In trouble for prostitution and try to go to school for nursing and came to school for nursing because they got a history of prostitution. So the, the thing that you do now can affect you later. So from one to another, sweetheart, you need some help. You need some personal help. This ain't about this was so willing to do for a man you love and destroy yourself for him. That's something that you gotta look into yourself and take accountability for, sweetheart. And you definitely need to go get tested, my girl. I was molested as a young Okay. Tested already. okay, let me tell you something else. Tests don't always show up clear. Get tested again. Go get tested three months from now. Herpes, listen to me about herpes. Herpes cannot be detected unless you know you have it. If you go get tested for herpes, because there's multiple simplexes of herpes, you may test positive, but that may be for the cold sore type of herpes. But general herpes is something that you won't know until you have an outbreak, which means you already got it. You see what I'm saying? There's so much, and it, it can sit in you for years, and you don't know it. So educate yourself, sweetheart. Life ain't over. God gave, exactly. God gave you a life that's over. Uh, but it's just some, it's just some, like, your life definitely not over. It's just some things you have to do. Right now, you have to protect your physical. You got to call the police. You got to make your report about the people threatening your life. You have to do that. Don't we got to show that man. You, you got to show them, man. You got to have that on paperwork in case you ever have to defend yourself. When somebody, somebody, threatened, my, somebody threatened my life one time, 
I won't say no name, but y'all had a little interview with her today. And I'm going to just say she had a million followers and y'all had 2,600 people up there. We have 3,300 people. And I don't have Go ahead and say that. But anyway, somebody threatened my life one time. And to get my stuff there, make sure I could defend myself in case I had to, I, I fuck around because what she did and got my gun rights back. So I carry some gun on me in my case, you know, I don't know. So then, therefore, you make sure you have your paperwork in case somebody do play with you, you can knock their head. You got to be able to defend yourself, and that's your right, but you got to have your paperwork right. If you don't get your paperwork right, it ain't going to work. So that's the first thing. You do. The next thing you do, since you got to bring her get and talk to somebody, you got to bring this girl and talk to somebody that's not social media. I'm not no right. psychology. B is a great life coach, but I, I don't know. You got your license in psychology? Yeah. No, I got no life coach. But I'm connected to psychology. If it's deeper than that, I have people that I can connect to. You can you can you inbox her. All right. I inbox her before y'all went live. Right. Right. You know, you know, I just need nothing to stop that in my life. But this shit, I didn't do this shit. Right. They're not gonna, 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 they Top Tomorrow it might be me and it's definitely gonna be shaking a couple of days. It, that's okay. how it goes. They're gonna start talking about me and my young boy, we're gonna fuss or something and child <laughs> and stuff. Ah, this that and the other. It's gonna something else. But I, I'm ready. I'm ready. And then let me tell you something, sweetheart. Stop looking at what's affecting you. You need to take your eyes off of social media. Maybe it's time for you to get off of social media. Maybe it's time for you to take a break from social media. And maybe it's time for you to go into the help that you need. Because you are re-triggering your emotions every time you relive what's going on. People are going to have opinions. As soon as you see somebody have something to say about you, you're going to want to have to defend. You're going to want, you know, you, you got to, I'm telling you what I know. You got to take a back for yourself. Nobody can live on you. They don't know you for real. Let the people talk. They're going to have something to say. They're going to have something to say about you. They're going to have something to say about him. They're going to have something to say about the family. They're going to have something to say about everything. Everybody got a pain. Don't worry about their pains. You have to live your life. You're only what you're feeling now. You got a family to take care of. You got your life to live. You got things that you need to do. Your life and aspirations. Let Use this as a catalyst if it's, and, and, and be that your driving force. Because that's very important. Yep. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. All right, Thank you, sister, for coming. Make sure y'all and listen. Make sure you link with her. She knows a lot of psychologists, and oh yeah, she's a good, she's a she great life. She says she's so far. She's a great life coach. She knows what she's talking about. I, 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 I go to her personally. Hit her up sometimes if I need girl. Four o'clock in the morning. Just where do I go? Where do I turn? And direction. Do it offline. I do recommend that. I'm sorry this is happening to y'all. I'm sorry this is happening to him. And I'm sorry this is happening to y'all families as even conjoined or separate. But listen, there's a silver lining around. This can be fixed. <laughs> you are going to grow from this. You're going to glow from this. This is not the end of your life. This is not the end of the world. This is not the end of your eggs. A couple of people might not fuck with you anymore, but you don't need the people in your life anyway. You did something out of love, and now you have to do something that's, that's a little bit different. The love that you have for him that made you do whatever you did and how you did it, put that love on yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, listen, it don't matter what happened. Fuck them bitches. I love me. You the same love you have for him and the tenacity and the energy that you have for him that's love, turn that love on yourself. Fault and all. I've been in prison 10 years. Guess what? I'll get myself. I'm going to pay attention to my babies. They praying for you and stuff. Motherfucker, see, they got to listen to the other side of the story, son. We, and, and, and at first, we all had opinions. We didn't hear your side of the story. Now we know your side of the story. And guess what? We pray for you. You got champions over here. If you need anything for civil nation, you let us know. And we're going to try to see if we can help you. Right direction. I'll get something for you. You have some things to do. You got your homework to do. You got to call the police, get your report, get that little piece of paper that says you don't report it to them in, in case somebody do something. You already have your report paperwork that states you. You got to go talk to somebody that's a psychologist on a psychological level to vent that out. And I get this little room. Oh, I'm a, all right. I'm a, I got it. I got it. We, gonna... we, we love you. If y'all need anything from me, let me know. She'll be hitting you up if she needs anything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hold on, y'all. Hold on one second. All right, so listen. I'm, <laughs> how y'all doing? I'm really driving right now, so I'm really going to put your phone. See me so I can put the phone down. Because the thing I had that hold it up, it ain't work. It's broke. And I just have to explain some stuff. Because girls, I don't know if y'all just got me fucked up on y'all. Don't get
give a fuck. But I will, <laughs> I will gladly explain my position on anything as far as what I'm talking about. So um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna drop down real, real quick. I'm gonna turn off comments, turn off commenting, so so I can 